Regional Rock Hour. Welcome, everyone, to the best damn hour of radio in Fort Dodge, Iowa. On this station, it's the Regional Rock Hour. Your old pal Mason for the next hour. I'll be taking you through some some pretty wicked tunes, and uh, I'm lonely. Okay, I'll admit that right now. I'm lonely. So, so. hey, hey, what's happening? How you doing? How you doing? Good. What's up, man? Oh, not much. Oh, not much. Uh, All right. uh, rocking and rolling. Rocking and rolling. Rockin and roll. Just kick oh, yeah. the off, off with a band. With a band called. Sleep signal. Sleep signal. Uh, just uh, heard just one heard one for last, last week. Last week. Uh, uh, and, and I think we got a couple of weeks coming, coming up. Yeah, sorry. It was cut. Your audio is cutting out here, but yeah, I think I heard what you said. Yeah, twenty two. Yeah. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. 20. yeah. So, uh, so uh, five five right now. Right now. we're gonna we're, we're gonna, gonna, gonna we're gonna this out. This out. Real quick, real quick, coming uh, out, out a new story, a new story by twenty. Oh, yeah. by 20. Yep, let's rock yeah, it. Let's Here rock we it. Here we go. Let's go. Rock. rock. Hey, we're still hey, live. We're still live. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Um, hey. Yeah. So, hey. Sometimes you'll talk, and it, uh, it sounds like a noise suppressor. It'll like it'll like suck you in, and then it'll come clear again. Uh, so, do you have, uh, do you have yeah. headphones? You headphones you can use? Do you have? Say again. Oh, headphones. Yeah. Headphones. Um. Yeah. What Mike doesn't know is that it's not his birthday, but we're going to throw him a birthday party. No, we're not doing that. I didn't get cake or balloons or anything. We're going to get this hashed out. We are rocking 22 Salute, a new story right now on the Regional Rock Hour, 92.1 FM. Uh, you can find a link for it as well on our Facebook page. Bringing Mike back on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I hear. We good now? Yeah, I hear you now. Can you hear me? Yep, yep, perfect. Uh, uh, cool. What the all hell, good. man? We're, we had this stuff all set up, and it sounded great, and then all of a sudden, nope. Nope, we so don't want to do that. You know, problems problems wait to the perfect moment to happen, and that's why <laughs> they do. Like all the all the testing beforehand, we were all set up twenty yeah, minutes yeah. at a time, and yep, yeah, that's what happens. But uh, <laughs> Mike Schoen of Twenty Two Salute, thanks for coming on, brother. Hey, thanks for having me, man. I appreciate it. Hey, you got it, dude. Uh, so much, uh, so much fun we've had. Anytime you come back to town, and oh, like. You're about the furthest band away that we play on the regional rock hour, <laughs> since technically you're not in the region anymore. But I'm, well, a, I'm yeah, you're what? you're you're from the Manson area. Yeah, so I I'm kind of kind of regional because you know we come back a couple weeks a year and my whole family and all my best friends are back there. So I still it's funny even though we've been here like six years, I still feel like you know I still feel like Iowa is still my home. I mean I love it here. I just you know, you can't, you can't beat it. So. Oh yeah. Well that I'm afraid if I quit playing 22 salute on the show, I'm going to come outside the studio and like my, my vehicle's going to be like completely trashed. There's going to be somebody waiting in the bushes to just beat the crap out of me. Like, I mean, we got to do what we got to, we got to do what we got to do, you know, you keep us playing. You, dude, you got a lot of love over this way. I'm telling you, you're, oh, you're thanks, man. You're one of our most requested bands, so. Oh, awesome! That's cool. That's that's cool to hear. So. Yeah, I think oh, we yeah. have we have chatted since uh, since the pandemic, you know. Um, yeah, yeah. But you've been, you guys have been doing uh, more work since we've talked last fall, haven't you? What have you been up to? Yeah, yeah. We uh, we. We did another music video. We have been in the studio recording songs. Um, we did another live stream online. Um, and now, now that shows are coming back, we have, I think we have, um, we have two shows. Yeah. We have two shows booked in California or three, two or three booked in California. And then the, the July 10th, the uh, show that we're playing back and forth Dodge on July 10th. So. Oh, rock, rock and roll, man. We will uh, actually, you know, 
we got about 30 seconds here. I'll, I'll pop it on real quick. All right, we don't want to get zucked out, so I better stop. Yeah. <laughs> he's watching. You know he's watching. He is, yeah. Those lizard people have nothing better to do. <laughs> oh, dude. He, he watches you in your sleep. Do you, do you think Mark Zuckerberg is a, a one of those lizard people that they talk about? I've seen some weird photos. I mean, I don't know. He might be. If, if they existed, I would definitely say he would be one of them. Hell, yeah. Uh, oh, well, that one just uh, popped in on its own because, well, because I left the button down. But that was uh, America Cheer. We'll give it a couple more seconds here. And I, I'm sure you've heard of those guys, America Cheer, haven't you? Yeah, they're actually uh, they're going to be. Uh, I don't know if anyone's announced it yet, but they're actually going to be opening uh, one of the opening bands for July 10th at the Eagles Ballroom. So. All right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's the thing. Like, there's so many times I hear, you know, somebody will tell me like, hey, we're doing this, you know, like save this date, save this date. And a lot of times they don't tell me, oh, hey, we're not mentioning it yet. You know, oh. so like, so, I mean, there, there'll be times I'll be on air, you know, and like I'll, I'll play the band and I'll be like, oh, yeah, hey, they're doing this. And then I'll get a miss. Hey, bro, bro. Like, we weren't trying to mention that. yet. <laughs> like, we was telling you it was a secret, bro. You broke the trust. I know. It, <laughs> well, here's. Here's the thing. If you don't tell me, if you don't tell me it's a secret, then I don't know it's a secret. Like, I know that's that's why. Yeah. People people assume that, you know, and it's like, dude, I don't know. Yeah. Just, uh, you know, there there's been a, a few times that, you know, uh, people have uh, let me be the one to break the news for them. You know, big news. A lot of times they're like, hey, we want to do it on our social media, you know, which I totally yeah. get. You know, it's your news. You put it on on your site. But then uh, there, there's been a few others. A couple weeks ago, I had a band Switchblade Saturdays, and they got signed to this, uh, like, they got signed with this label. And so, like, they've got a, a bunch of really awesome stuff in the works now. Yeah. And they they let it slip on the show. Like, they were going to announce it, like, a week after. Oh, uh, they, no. <laughs> yeah, they let it slip on the show. So then they're like, well, here's the big announcement. Uh, unless you heard the radio show in Fort Dodge, you know, <laughs> the wind band. unless you heard that radio show in Fort Dodge, uh, yeah, it's the first <laughs> you guys, time it's being announced. So you guys knew before anyone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's and that's a good that's a good thing too. You know, I mean, yeah. I love being the first one out there with the info. So yeah, oh, but I. My problem is I get so um, I get so uh, excited about things that I can't keep it in, so I just I kind of spill the beans a lot. But it's, they're gonna find out eventually. So they will, they will. Uh, we got about we got about thirty seconds, and uh, for those just tuning in, good good thing um, because we're gonna probably talk about the same stuff we just talked about here on this. Yeah, in case you <laughs> yeah, in case you know they didn't catch it the first time, second time. Exactly. Exactly. All right. We got about got about 15 here. We'll go ahead and just do that. That's America Cheer. Keep walking on 92 Rock, past, present, powerful. It's the regional rock hour. Your old pal Mason hanging with Mike Schoen of 22 Salute. How you Hello. doing, brother? Good, man. How's it going? Good, good. We we got the kinks worked out for the radio. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The headphones. That that was the key. The headphones. Yeah, and that's my bad for not telling you that beforehand because I've actually like now I'm yeah no that's happened before. You know? <laughs> yeah, it's all good. It's uh, hey, it, you know as as hey. long as I've done this, it's still a work in progress. Yeah. Well, last October when I was on and we did a live stream and radio broadcast, it was like. It was like one of the first times he did it, and it was like kind of a we had a we had a little difficult time, but I think it's rolling rolling good now. So, hell yeah, yeah, and I mean, I, I've done a few since then, but it seems like now we're actually uh, allowing people back in the studio, not like large amounts. Of, you know, like I'm not getting like the you know couple Pizza. of bands at a time again. Pizza parties or nothing? No, okay. no, not yet. We're we're working our way there though. It's. Uh, <laughs> 
it's coming, man. Live music is opening back up. Um, yeah. I mean, you, you guys are out in California. How is it looking out there for the live shows? Um, I, uh, you good. Guys, you've gotten back out there, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. We had a show two weekends ago um, at a place called Rockefellers in Corona. Funny, it's Corona, California. And um, it was, uh, I'm sure people would frown upon it, but it was an outside gig, but it was packed. Like, it was it was completely packed. And it was, people are itching. They're just tired of, you know, not to, not to, Pick anyone off, but I think a lot of people are like, "Hey, you know what? Like, let's let's open up." You know, even in California, everyone's shows are opening up. Um, we have, yeah, we have two shows booked um, here in California already, and I think it's just start. It's really opening up now, and it's good for us bands because it was it, very. Um, it ta- it, ta- it takes the wind out of your sails a little bit. The momentum kind of dies when you're not getting out there and playing shows. So now it's like everything's picking up now. So yeah, and you guys are doing stuff like the live stream stuff and you have your own podcast going now, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. It's called the rock Oath. Um, we did, a, uh, episode one's out. Um, actually episode two was uploading today. <laughs> and, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I had to cancel it. So my phone would work, but it was like a, se- <laughs> it was like a seven hour. It looked like about, I did the math. It was like, it's going to be a seven hour upload. And I got about halfway and I'm like, well, this is, this interview is important. So I, I canceled the upload, which is fine. I'll, I'll do it while I sleep tonight or something. But, um, but yeah, no, uh, it's just a, it's just a podcast. It's a video podcast. we got like different cameras and like four people or five people at a time on the show and you know, like a Howard Stern thing, but with music and whatever subjects we want to talk about. It's really cool. So I advise anyone to check out on YouTube, uh, the rock of, um, episode two will be out tomorrow. So. Hell yeah. Who have you had on there? Uh, just local bands from California. Uh, look, well, so just, we've only done two episodes. Um, first episode was like two, two hours, which is probably way too long. Second hour, second episode is an hour and a half. I think we're going to slowly trim it down, work out the kinks. But no, it's just local people. First um, first episode was my brother and then um, a local musician here, a popular local drummer. And then second episode was my drummer and then the guy that owns a studio, Birdberry Studios. He came in. And um, on the show, it's funny, I have my two guests. Uh, I try to do two guests, but I'll probably do one eventually too. But, uh, and then I have something called a couch contributor and it's just a guy sitting on the couch that we give a bunch of crap to and he has his own camera and, and microphone and he kind of p- pipes in here and there. And so it's pretty funny. Oh yeah. Comic relief. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's a ca- and he sits on a couch. So we call him the couch contributor and he just pipes in with the information when he, he we, we ask him and it's pretty funny. Hell yeah. Rock oath. We'll have to make sure we check that out. And uh, we're going to talk about this show. You guys are coming back to town July 10th. We're going to talk about that in a bit. Uh, we got to take a break here on the radio side, uh, but then we are going to get back to it with uh, MGCC. Actually, this one is uh, going out to Chris Walker. Just had an accident on his uh, bicycle. Uh, luckily, he was wearing a really strong helmet. And oh, good. luckily, the guy knows his stuff because he owns Walker Bike Shop. So, oh, so he knows he, he probably was ready for it or was he all right? Yeah. What's that? He's okay though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's uh he's recovering. Um. Yeah, oh that my helmet, gosh. Helmet was definitely a good thing there. Um. If you check out Walker Bike Shop on Facebook, you can uh, see more on it. Uh, we're gonna take this quick break on the radio side, and then we're back with MGCC and Black Key Guy and Ninety Two Rock in the Regional Rock Hour. So anyway, and we're still Facebook Live, so right. What's that? Oh, we're still Facebook Live, right? Yep, yep, we are yeah, still, so, we are still Facebook we're, Live. We're um, Facebook. Being protected from scumbags trying to peep in your window. There we go. Yep, there's a an ad for our sponsor rolling right now. Got to give a shout out to Sick Tints. I like the um I like what popped in there. It said something about scumbags and they cut off. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I uh I wrote that ad, you know. Oh really? Um, yeah, cuz uh you know, just doing the show like all right, who, who yeah. better than the guy that, you know, has done the show the past four years to yeah uh, to actually do the, the spot. And um no, they they came along. Uh Rich is a guy that owns it, and he just, you know, he's he's a fan of the regional rock hour, supporter of local music, and yeah, got cool. New, got a new business, wanted to get himself out there. I nice. ran, ran into him. We uh might have been in a bar, you know. My, that's where the best talk. That's where the best talks happen, though. That yep. Uh, 
a lot of business deals are made in a bar. Um, you know, as far as conversation wise, I will say I've had a lot of great conversations in a bar, but I've had a lot of pointless ones that weren't always the most, uh, beneficial as well. You know, I mean, I don't know, man. I, I don't, I've never heard a, a, a conversation in a bar that was nonsense ever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, you got to get out more, Mike. What's that? You got to get out more, Mike. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So, uh, new video, uh, new video out. You got that coming yeah. soon? Yeah. No, uh, no, the, 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 uh, the Takimi at Bay, uh, Bay music video came out two weeks ago. So, oh, two weeks ago. Wow. I am. Yeah. Yeah. It's all I'm right, man. Your... Oh. Yeah. I'll, 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 I'll put it on your Facebook wall, but yeah, people love it. It's, um, it kind of has a Goonies vibe. Like we, we like show up in this like abandoned, um, not haunted. It's like a abandoned, like it looks like a abandoned um... ship. And we walk into this like band room and there's equipment everywhere and gold and skeletons and cobwebs and, it, there's like an intro scene we walk in and yeah and then all of a sudden i find the piano and clear it off and just start playing it's pretty cool oh i'm an idiot yeah no i saw it <laughs> oh, okay yeah, yeah now you're oh there it is yeah, it, yeah. Was, it was two it was two weeks ago so it you know like i don't oh, know man a lot happens I, in two weeks though yeah yeah no what <laughs> last week regional rock hour uh broadcasted from des moines actually we were at woolies for uh for a show, a couple of bands that we feature on here quite a bit, Widow Seven and Fault Mine. Um, oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. I've, um, some members of those bands I've been friends with for over 20 years, you know? Yeah. So yeah. It, was, it was spectacular seeing them. They actually played a sold out show at Woolies. I and saw it, pictures. That's sick. That's... Yeah. It's, dude, the, li the live music is coming back. And dude, good. You know, um, yeah, I, um, I was trying to actually, uh, fault mine. I was trying, I wanted to, uh, I actually asked, they were one of the first bands I asked to be on the July 10th show, but they couldn't, they said they can't do it. So I wish they could, you know? Oh dude. Yeah. They, uh, yeah. And that I, I told, I told Rob this, uh, that's the best I have ever heard them sound. They had it completely dialed in and they, Good. they absolutely slaughtered. Yeah. Opened up for uh, Vended, um, which is a band that uh, contains uh, a couple sons of uh, members of Slipknot. Uh, Clown, oh, really? Yeah, Clown, the drummer's son, one of the drummer's sons, one of the 17 drummers of Slipknot. Uh, uh, was it jo Joey Jordison's son or no? No, no. Uh, Clown, Sean, Sean Crayon. Um, yeah, he's one of the percussionists slash yeah. like, producer guys. Yep, his son Simon, and then Corey Taylor's son Griffin is their lead singer. So, oh wow, yeah. Uh, so, I mean, I took a few minutes. I chatted with them beforehand, and then, yeah, sold out show. That Dang. was, I mean, like even before pandemic, that was one of the the most raucous shows I've been to in years. Like, really, that's yeah, awesome you know, for for being well, that level, mosh pits back and everything. You know, man. And, that's yeah. awesome hair. I'm so happy to hear that. Uh, yeah. Was was a uh, was Corey Taylor and Clown there or or Sean um, Crane? Yeah. No, I didn't see him. Um, I wouldn't uh, like uh, like beforehand. They weren't floating around or anything. Like yeah, I yeah, I'm sure. I didn't see him at the show. Uh, Vended played a year before that, and they sold out Vaudeville Muse, which is a smaller yeah. venue. It was at yeah. full capacity. And I mean, it was sold out to the point turning people away and all that. Oh yeah. yeah, that 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 venue was like that was a pretty small venue, but it was like two it was two floors, and then yeah, we yeah. played there a couple times. Yeah, and I uh, I don't know if you you heard, but that place is actually closed now. Yeah, I heard about that. That's, that Which, sucks, man. It does. It, COVID it really, was the final blow. Probably. It was. Yeah, I I would assume that. I mean. Shoot, man! Before the pandemic, it was already hard enough keeping a venue open. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh -huh. um, and yeah. now it's seeming though like a lot of bands and a lot of acoustic musicians that I've talked to because that's Fort Dodge's scene. We have a lot of solo artists that go out and play their own songs, and you yeah. know, uh, you know, almost more on the folk 
side than, Full, than yeah, yeah. but it's local. So of course, you know, I got, I got, yeah. you know, they're like, they're playing great music. It might not necessarily be what you're going to hear, you know, like on 92 rock all the rest of the time. Yeah. But, uh, this show, I mean, we call it the regional rock hour, but really it should, uh, be called something about just local because i mean there's the re- time, yeah you know I, i'll throw in a little country here and there if that's oh right. yeah that's that's i mean that's it's especially these days you know i think uh music is so spread out all over the place so it might be a rock band and then all of a sudden they're doing a rap song or a country song or you know it's just like everything's everywhere anyway so yeah i don't see a problem with that at all oh yeah especially yeah especially with uh especially with this part of the country you know that, yeah 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 that's a whole lot so uh what do we got here we got some comments going <laughs> oh no hey yeah. it's can it's candy i call her candace but candy <laughs> all right all right and then she's, uh she's nick rosendahl uh, i love huh? him he uh he him and uh mike view had a studio in thor iowa we recorded our first songs ever with uh nick and mike i remember that <laughs> i, I I see him at the Abate Freedom Rally, which uh, actually on air. Um, well, we're uh, we're gonna jump on here in uh, just a couple seconds, so hang on. Okay, yeah, cool. That's cool. You can get the uh, the on the bottom, the, the lower third. I like that. I know it's awesome. Yeah, yeah. We'll uh, we'll pop some more of those on there. Hey, we're back here. Regional Rock Hour, ninety two Rock. Just heard MGCC Black Key Guy. Uh, our best wishes going out to Chris Walker, a Walker Bike Shop, uh, for a speedy recovery. And we are on Facebook. We're rocking and rolling. Um, yep. Yeah, uh, just talking about Nick Rosendahl here. He's he's posting <laughs> comments. And here's another one about the, uh, you know, That's, uh, great. We've had some great conversations at the rally. Uh, past couple of years, I have had the fortunate uh, the job of going on stage and announcing bands. So it has yeah. been spectacular, I- man. Like, oh yeah, and I, sorry, I got to throw this note in there. Nick Rosendahl is one of the best Connect Four players in the world. I've tried, I've tried to play him at Connect Four in the studio, and he wins every time. So I had to throw that out there. Really, Connect Four, huh? <laughs> He's pro, I think. Hell yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. I, I don't think I've ever heard anybody referred to as a Connect Four aficionado. Pro. You know, like <laughs> He's gonna start the whole Championship League. I tell you. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Hey, who's your uh, Celin- Celindia Lopez? Celindia. Yeah, yeah. She's from here in California. Yeah, she's cool. What's up, Celindia? <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, so, all right. I guess we're on air, so I don't know why I'm talking like we're on Facebook. Oh, we're doing both. <laughs> yeah, yeah. People are like, what are they talking about? Yeah, on our screens. On our screens, people are commenting. That's if anyone's wondering. Yeah, the people that the people that listen to this show regularly, I think they really listen for the music. But uh, you know, we get a, we get a guest like you in, and they really enjoy it. When I'm in here by myself, I try to keep it as short as possible. To the point, yeah, yeah. Because I mean, we got an hour, and I've got quite a bit of local music I can get through. Uh, always looking for more. I, I do want to oh. throw that out there. If anybody oh, yeah. has a band and they're doing recordings, you know. Even if you don't think it's ready, uh, you know, then maybe don't send it to me yet. Get confident with it. And once you're ready, send it off. And I mean, there, there's not a whole lot I won't play, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah. That's I mean, awesome. Watching swear words and stuff like that. That has to. Has yeah, to yeah. Uh, so somebody was asking here as well on Facebook about the uh, what's happening What's happening July 10th? Do you want to, you want to get into that? I know there is uh there's one band that we can't talk about. Uh, yes, there is. And yeah, that's a so, secret. Yeah. So we'll, we'll leave that one out, but what about the, uh, what about the rest? Just go ahead okay. and uh, tell us what's happening, buddy. Okay. So if any, anyone listening in, um, we'll go, again, I'm Mike from the band 22 salute. We're originally from Fort Dodge. We live in California now, but uh, once, once in a while we'll pop back in and do a show um, so we're doing a, a, a we're doing a 22 salute show at the Eagles Ballroom on July 10th. Um, it is a uh, it's going to be an insane show. We got um, we have there's one band I cannot say who's going to be opening for us. Uh, it's a secret right now, 
but uh, we have America Chair, and then we also that that played earlier. They're they're opening the show, and then we also have another band from California called Firing All Cylinders, and they're going to be making the trip out to Iowa to uh, play right before we go on. So, Firing All Cylinders, huh? Yeah, yeah, they're pretty they're pretty good band, pretty cool guys. So I'm excited for everyone in Iowa to see them too. So, hell yeah, do they? Uh, I'm sure. They got the social medias going, YouTube. Yeah, YouTube, music videos. Yeah, so yeah, check out Firing All Cylinders. They'll be uh, playing right before we uh, take the stage. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a great show. I, we're going to, um, now that we got all the bands, it, we're, we're working on the flyer. And once the flyer goes out, the promotion's going to blow up. And we're just going to, we're going to hopefully pack the place. And yeah, so. <laughs> and as we've been talking, dude, people are itching for that live music again. I don't think that should be much of an issue. No, oh, yeah. I, I mean, unless uh, I don't know what the restrictions are, if there's any restrictions still in Fort Dodge, is there any like uh, quote unquote restrictions? <laughs> there, yeah, I believe now, believe now it is actually up to uh, up to the businesses. You know, they're oh, they're, right, they're, the way, but, they're still private okay. businesses, still private businesses that want, you know, you to wear a mask and all that stuff. Oh, yeah. And I, I believe everyone has the right to say that, too. But like, it's cool that they have the right to say, well, we're going to have a show. So that's awesome. Exactly. Exactly. I the my whole thing about it is um, if they want to go ahead and have shows, no masks and jam as many people in there. Cool. Go ahead. If you're not comfortable being there. Yep. Don't go. Um, yeah. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, really, uh, us to be able to have the choice to do that, which I should also state, by the way, that the opinions of me do not reflect the opinion <laughs> of Ninety Two Rock or <laughs> Alpha Media Incorporated. <laughs> hey, and the and the words of me do not uh, represent the other two members. Although, I mean, I'll just say that just so it's professional. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> And, you know, I, I don't think we've mentioned, you know, for first time listeners, you're, you're in a band with your brother, man. That is, that's, that's yeah. cool. I think that's awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, and you, yeah. yeah. And you guys get along? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. No, we do. We, we get along really great. Uh, Mark and I, of course, we'll bicker once in a while, but like we live together too. You know, we're in a band together. We live together. I don't think we've ever been away from each. I mean, we're, we never leave each other's side almost. We're almost like the same person. So, like, of course, we bicker, but they, they, we get along great. So, Oh, that's awesome. And uh, how's your drummer, Jay, doing? What's he been up to? Dude, Jay's the man. He's great. Actually, I wanted him on the show with me today, but he had plans, and he couldn't do it. But, uh, no, Jay's doing great. He's stoked to come back to Iowa. Last um, we, we were in Iowa, too. Um, uh, not last summer, but one before that. We had um, In 2019, we played at the Eagles Landing right below the ballroom, uh, and Jay loved it. He's like, it's like a culture shock for him. Like he just thought it was the greatest thing. So yeah, he loved the whole vibe of Iowa and stuff. So, and he's stoked to come back in July again. So. Hell yeah. Hey, uh, you want to stick around for a few minutes? I'm going to play on the radio side. I'm going to play to keep me at bay and then uh, we'll, yeah. do a, all right, we'll do a sign off then. Okay. You cool with that? Sounds great, man. Thank you. Right. Yep. Rock and roll. It's 92 rock in the regional rock hour. Dude, I love this. I love this piano part to it. It just gives it an epic feel, you know. Yeah. The, oh, the um, you mean just the piano or that little part, the little um, the little descending uh, chromatic thing? Uh, I think the combination of them is what gets me. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Cool, man. Yeah, it's. I mean, to be honest with you, though, this song this song was written almost ten years ago. That's the thing people don't realize. Yeah, yeah. You, but uh, we've we've had it on the show before. Like I've played it before. Um, because when we first got hooked up on this, you you sent me like your newest stuff. And then when you were coming back through, I'm like, well, hell, man, like, you know, where's your old stuff? You know, like, let's go ahead and go through the back catalog. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we've yeah, got so, a few and th this is a remastered version you got. Yeah, uh, not remastered, re-recorded. So we record the first version uh, at Nick Rosendahl here's studio, him and Mike View in, uh, in Thor, Iowa. So that was that was like 2012. So that was like right when we just started. Um, and it's not a bad recording or anything, but we just revamped it. Um, it's a little it's a little more. The tempo is a little little faster, um, just just a lot more polished up. 
um, probably the way that we really want it. And then, um, and then also it's funny, they recorded, we also recorded a song called shadow girl back in 2012 or 13. Um, and that we're actually in, the stu- uh, we just finished it up in the studio and that's a remake too of that, a better version. And that's going to be coming out as a single, uh, within the next month. So we're, we're not going to be doing all of our redoing all of our old songs, but we're going to, uh, just for now, just to keep me at bay, which is out now. And then shadow girl, which will be out within a month. So. Oh, awesome. Awesome. You got a hi, Mike from Fort Dodge. Uh, uh hey, what's up? Go. What's up, Brian? How you doing, man? All right. So, uh, yeah, dude, uh, in 10 years too, I mean, you're going to pick up some tricks, you know, I think. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 I mean, but that, that song is stand the test of time in our band because like there's songs that we used to do that we really, I mean, we'll, we'll pop them in a once in a blue moon, but they're not like, they're not staples of our show to keep me at bay is a staple at the end. At basically we play that every show. So we were like, okay, since we play this every show still, we need to get the recording up to par with what, you know, we're recording now, like all the new songs that come out now, let's get to keep me at bay at that level. So it's consistent with our, our new recordings. Yeah. And it's great. And it's great putting out a video with it as well, because yeah, yeah. Bring in a totally new audience. And, um, I think the, the online presence is just so important to any band. And I think you guys are doing a spectacular job of that. Uh, just just getting out there and promoting yourselves. Um, there's a lot of bands around the area and just local bands in general that, you know, like, ah, well, you know, uh, pe- people want to go see live music, so we don't need to really tell anybody about it. But uh, people have to know about it to go to it. And that's just. One oh, thing. oh, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, I mean, I might be annoying, actually, sometimes to some people, but I post a lot like I post like stuff I'm doing. I'll post stupid memes all the time. I mean, I think people like them because I, you know, I get a lot of likes on them, but um, I just I just. I'm not a social media whore, but I try to pump it as much as I can because it matters. And I like to entertain people. So I like to make people laugh. So, oh, yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah, uh, yeah your memes are on point. They are, uh, dude. as the kids say, dank as heck. Dank as <laughs> AF. Yeah. yeah, dude. Yeah. No, I, uh, I had to work on my meme game. I mean, you start off, it's not, you got to work, it's, it's something that takes skill and time. You know, you got to master that meme post. So, <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I try coming up with OC all the time, which, uh, you know, original content it's hit or miss. It's, it's <laughs> you know, wait, wait, uh, what posting what now? Uh, OC, you know, like some original memes and stuff like that. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. 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 I like those. Oh, those are, those are, <laughs> those are great. Yeah. They're, uh, they're, it's hit or, you know, like I said, I mean, they're just kind of hit or miss. Like you never really know exactly yeah. how people and then are yeah. And then with algorithms, you know, cause sometimes you'll, you'll be like, Oh, this is funny. And you post it at like 1130 at night and you're like buzz and you're like, Oh, this is so funny. And like, you get like seven likes and you're like, oh, I thought it was way funnier, but where the time you post is important too. It, um, posting algorithms is another thing. That's a pain in the butt, but. Yeah. And I've found that like, say, you know, like I want people to go to the artist page and stuff. But a lot of times, like when you tag them in the post, they won't see it. You know, like nobody will see it because the algorithms. Yeah. Like, oh, you're promoting someone else. We don't like that. Yeah. Like, or uh, Also, if you um, if you if you put a link, sometimes you put a link on your post outside of that goes outside of Facebook um, that they put pu- they quote unquote punish you for that. So you don't get as many. It's yeah, it, it's kind of weird. Like, or sometimes I'll share a, a post from our band page and it won't go, it won't go. The algorithm will really suck because it's just the way Facebook works. I don't know. It's weird. Oh yeah. No, we've done, uh, we've done giveaways and you know, like I'll, I'll like, I learned it fairly quick. You know, like I, I tag like a few bands and stuff like doing giveaways and the only people that saw it were the people in the band because it would say like, oh, your reach was 23 people, you know? You're like, what? <laughs> yeah. It's like, what the hell? I tagged 23 people in this post. Like, Yeah, I'm yeah. Sure it. It's frust- it is frustrating, man. It, you, you have to work with it and try to see when it, you get the most likes and traffic and then try to remember that and be like, hey, that's what I need to post. So you ever do sponsored spots? I know like if you, yeah. if you do that, they, you know. Yeah, yeah. I um, when we when Let Her Go music video came out, we sponsored the crap out of that, and that worked a lot. Um, now to keep me at bay, I haven't gotten around to doing the main sponsor because we're gonna do. I'm gonna do like a 
a season of sponsoring that video, but we've been so busy with other studio stuff and like uh, getting ready for shows and stuff. I haven't had the chance to really buckle down on the sponsoring of that video, but yeah, sometimes you want to sponsor just to get new viewers outside of your area or whatever, you know, your own fan base. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, July 10th, as we've been talking about, uh, we'll make sure the, I mean, I'll share it from personal page and I, I've yeah. got like, I've got like three professional pages I can share. Yeah. <laughs> yeah well, uh, that, that, and then you stories, stories work a lot too. Oh yeah. Yeah. I, I need to do that. I, yeah. I just, got a, I just got on TikTok. Ah, <laughs> yeah. I used to knock, I used to knock TikTok so bad, but then I'm like, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. No, I did too. I was like, "Oh man, this is for pederasses." Like, you know. <laughs> no, it, it, yeah. No, like, and then and then I'm like talking to like a lot of people, and they're like, "No, this is the way to go, man. This is this is the future." And it's like, yeah, damn. I mean, it's it is like it's it's like it'd be like you in uh 2004 making or five making fun of Facebook. Like, can hey, that'll, that'll never do anything. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know. Who knows? TikTok. Hopefully, TikTok will just become the next MySpace. Is what I'm hoping for. Yeah, I miss MySpace. By the way, for musicians, I for musicians, it was fantastic. It was you know? awesome. Yeah, I like that. De- I like decking out my personal page too. You know, you deck it out with a song, and you get the designs in the backgrounds. That was yeah. cool. Yeah, hell yeah, rock and roll. Hey, we got about uh, thirty seconds, and we'll do a we'll do a closing on the FM side. What do you say? That sounds good, man. All right. Hey. We'll, uh, we'll just go ahead and do this. It's 92 Rock in the Regional Rock Hour out of Webster City. That was Dead Bolton, the celebrity with the things forgotten. Mike Schoen of 22 Salute. Yep. How you doing, man? Still yeah, good, man. Still groovy. All right. Uh, yeah, we've been talking July 10th. It's going to be a, a heck of a time. Uh, your buddies from California are coming up, and America yep. sure will also be there. Correct? Yep. Heard yep. them earlier in the show. I know uh, I know they're really anxious to, uh, to get out there and play. Oh, and yeah. See, yeah. I really hate knowing something that no one else does, you know? Yeah, I want to tell. Well, I will say this, that they ha- they're they a band that a lot of people knew of, and uh, they're going to be on the show, and we can't say anything yet, but people will know when it had, when we tell. Or I, I, I'm actually talking with the band now. We're trying to figure out what's the best way to go about it, but we'll start announcing the show more, and then everyone will find out. But it's going to be – I actually love their, their songs, so I'm, I'm super stoked for them to be on the show. Yeah, I got a message yesterday. This guy's like, hey, we haven't announced it yet, but, uh, you know, reunion show coming up on July 10th. Could we get some promotion for it? And I'm like, like, I, you know, like, I, I would love to help you out. Uh, I will do what I can. But, you know, full disclosure, uh, really going to be pumping this 22 salute show on July 10th. And then I got an LOL playing with them, <laughs> you know. Oh really? Oh yeah. <laughs> they told you. And, and like at first my heart sank, you know, cuz I'm like, what the hell? We got two rock shows the same night. Damn it, you know? <laughs> Are you uh, sure we shouldn't tell? Uh, let's just go ahead and tell them. Everybody, Rebecca Black is playing at the show. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. <laughs> didn't mean to get y'all didn't mean to get you guys excited. Yeah. Her, her her hit Friday. <laughs> it's it's the reunion of the Hamson Devils, uh, uh, two piece <laughs> folk core, hardcore, like hard, <laughs> hard soft folk core. That band was there. Yeah, <laughs> actually, actually, it's a Turds of Misery. I don't know if you ever seen that photo. <laughs> no, no, I haven't. <laughs> There's a studio photo of a band, and they're all wearing their band shirts, and they're like this, and it says Turds of Misery, and that's the name of their band. So, oh, geez. It's that. It's them. No. Oh, shoot, Mike. Hey, uh, yeah, we got a, we got a few songs lined up on the show here and then, uh, we got to take off on the FM side. Um, but yeah, dude, thanks so much for coming on. Uh, Yeah, man. Thanks for having me on. I really appreciate it, man. 
Yeah, for those uh, following along on Facebook, we'll we'll be going here another minute or two. Uh, but the regional rock hour will continue with Fond of Flyers after this on ninety two Rock. All right, oh. there we go. There, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I I turn my I turn my mic off instead of hitting buttons <laughs> it's a pain in the ass that and i don't you know like i, I put in kind of long days now so it gets yeah to, it's like friday at this time and it's you're, you're, kind for, of, you're forgetting buttons i'm ready for a nap you know yeah dude i hear yeah. you man hey but uh dude we're stoked to come back and um thanks for pu pu pushing this already and I'll, i mean feel free to push it more if you want so oh yeah no i mean we're you know uh like i said you guys are one of the most requested bands for the show you've that's still so cool. got a still got a great following here uh i mean that's awesome <laughs> thank you yeah. come together but <laughs> those damn buttons again when country and rock come together hey. <laughs> i love playing country thunder ads on the 92 rock <laughs> station but, People are like, well, what the hell are we listening to? Yeah, no. uh, we got we got Leonard Skinnerd coming to. Uh, it's it's an Alpha Media event. You know, our like seven radio stations are affiliated all together here oh. in Dodge. Yeah, so hey. I was favorite country K ninety seven, the main sponsor. You know, on our end, but we got Leonard Skinnerd. So, oh, that's um, sick, man. Yeah, we're gonna. You know, gonna is that celebrate? Is that for celebration or whatever? No, celebration this year is uh, actually Friday, July second, um, which I will not be there. Uh, Friday, July second, they have Cheap Trick playing in Fort Dodge. What? Cheap, yeah, yeah, Cheap Trick yeah. pretty eight special opening. I know it's got to be something big for me to not be there, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's it's the Abate Freedom Rally. So wow. Yeah, every That's awesome. fourth, every Fourth of July weekend, and uh, on that night, on that night is uh, uh, we've got Austin Mead's going to be the opener. After Austin Mead, we will have Royal Bliss. Don't know if you're aware of who they are, but they're out of Salt Lake City. Um, they're they're pretty damn good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've heard I've probably heard that name circulate in conversation, but yeah, not not off the top of my head. So. Yeah. Uh, and then the headliner on July 2nd is Seven Dust. Oh, Seven Dust. Uh, in Fort Dodge? No, Algona. Oh, Algona. Oh, I mean, basically the I mean, same thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, Not you're the same yeah. thing. Yeah. Well, but... I mean, you're, you're outside. You're uh, you're right around LA, right? So, like, well, every, where the, uh, everything's not just... drive anywhere, you know? Yeah. Well, yeah, we're, we're, uh, we're like 40. 50, 50 minutes east of the downtown LA. So like we're outside of it in, in the suburbs it's called the Inland Empire, but uh, getting to LA is like an hour or less. So yeah, get inside. So yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's about an hour drive for us, you know, 45 minutes to an hour to get to LA. Yeah. But I mean, for the, we used to play shows in Des Moines and that was like almost a two hour drive, you know, with the band equipment and everything. So like an hour is not too bad, you know? Oh yeah. Yeah. No, it's, it's going to be a fantastic time. In fact, uh, I'm going to give away a pair of tickets in about three and a half minutes here on air. So. Oh, sick. yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that were, you know, like just tuning in for the, the tickets and the tickets. Yeah. And then they're like, Ugh. oh, technical <laughs> difficulties. Shut this guy up, man. They're like, where are the tickets, man? I don't care about 20 salute. <laughs> Get off the pipe, dude. Come on, man. Let's go. Uh, These let's douchebags the keep talking, man. <laughs> I think I think we're buried. I think we're buried far enough, at least in uh we're buried far enough now, at least in this stream yard, I can say. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no one's gonna no one's gonna rewatch this and go to 50 minutes in. Come on. We can say we can say anything we want now. Yeah, uh, Mark Zuckerberg is a lizard person. I already threw yes. that out there. Um, yes, he is. It's fact. <laughs> yeah. I didn't vote in the last election. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wear underwear. What? No, they don't know. <laughs> oh, I thought we were supposed to say things people didn't know. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I, everyone knew that. I forgot. <laughs> oh, we we follow your only fans, Mike. <laughs> Hey, I'm not going to say what I do on OnlyFans, but it involves a plunger, peanut butter, um, and, uh, um, <laughs> and, car, and, and, and jumper cables. And that's all I'm going to give you. That's all I'm going to tell you guys. Hey, so long as there's no animals involved, you're all good. <laughs> no, no, no. No, yeah. no animals. Oh, I mean, no alive animals. So. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Oh, shit, I think <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, OnlyFans, it's not, everyone always assumes it's only for like, you know, risque, naughty stuff, but you can do anything on OnlyFans. You could like sit there and like just eat or stare at the camera. You know, you can do anything. Yeah, but you know, somebody's going to jerk it to that. So it's, oh, yeah. <laughs> that's I why mean, I'll you're... never get, that's why I'll never get one. I mean, that's why I'll never make my own. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there there's so many perversions in the world. You know that there's at least one person that will, you know, like, watch someone oh, eat spaghetti and be like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I'm sure there's some perv out there that likes anything like that. Uh, well, there's, uh, I would guess that there's at least one person in the world that the only way they can get off is by watching the spaghetti scene in the movie Seven. Oh, God. Yeah. Probably. Probably. I'm sure they're, <laughs> I'm sure they're closer than you know. I'm sure there are people that live right next door to you and you don't even know. <laughs> it's not me, Mike. It's it's not me. It's hey, what are you, what are you trying to say, Mason? What are you trying to say right now? Are you trying to give us some hints? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Caught. It's caught. He did it. I knew it. That's. I, I did. What? The first time I saw that movie, I was eating spaghettios when that came on. Oh no! I ruined yeah. it. Oh, it was awful. Like I never again, man. Never again. Uh, well, ruined spaghetti for you. Ruined it. It did. Absolutely. Hey, man, we, uh, I got, I got about three more minutes now. Um, uh, yeah, you got to sell, you got to get those tickets out, man. Gotta, so I'll, I'll, get I'll, uh, out. I'll get the heck out of here. So dude, we will, uh, we will definitely be in touch. Thanks so much for coming on. It's oh. always so much fun hanging out with you. And, uh, can we, uh, can we go ahead and schedule you for the July 9th show here on the regional rock hour? Oh, um, July 9th. Oh yeah. 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 Get me on that. That'd be cool. Okay. Then we can, I could talk more about what's going on and I'll be in a, I'll be in Iowa. So if you want us to come by the studio, I don't know yeah, if you can absolutely. or not. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. We're, uh, we, we've got it. Um, yeah, we're okay there. We're absolutely. All right, that'd be, that'd be great. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it in studio. That'd be great. All right, brother. Well, Hey, thanks again. And, uh, we'll talk soon. You take care. All right. Thanks, Mason. Take care, man. You got it. Peace. Uh, later. <laughs>